today we are here in Dunnigan at Ritchie Brothers. We're loading up this bucket van, and it was supposed to be a run and drive, but when I got here, uh, the battery's dead. I tried to put a jump box on it, and nothing happened. The, uh, look at that. Those are nice latches. Um, nothing happened when I put a battery jumper on it, then I noticed a bunch of wires were loose. Like, nothing happened. Nothing came in on the dash, nothing. So, I just jumped up under it, uh, put the shift linkage, unhooked the shift linkage, put it in neutral, and now I'm just gonna winch it up on the trailer real quick. Got the ramps all set up. Gotta grab this out of the way. Grab the winch, bring it down, hook it up. It'll be good to go. This deck is slippery. I charged my winch before I left the house and I thought it had more juice in it. Uh, when I hooked it up to the charger, it said 40%. So, hoping this is enough, just get it up on here. That's all we need. Looking good. Let's see how heavy the back of this is, but that's going up the winch or going up the trailer just fine. Yeah, this doesn't seem too heavy to me. Oh, winch is slowing down, but I think she's gonna give us what we need to get us up. But shit, that winch is starting to die, no way. It's okay, actually, I got my jump box I could put on it. Turn this hair to the left. Puff in, drive boat. Drive boat. Good. This is typical Ford fashion. I think these things are slow anyways. We're good. Straight on. Bam. I might be too high. We're going to have to get a height on this. Yeah, that's over height for sure. That's like 14. God knows what max out my stick. <laughs> that did not get that down much. Uh oh. Yeah, so we're at 14.2 still. It's on, but that's not gonna ride too well back there. Well, that's a nifty little trick. Put that on there to let the air out. Alrighty, it started raining, so I hit it with the hurry up load. But this is probably the first time you've seen this setup in action. I'm thinking, I don't know if I've recorded anything before, but this is my new purple wedge. I've been running it for a while now. Sorry I haven't been recording. I've just been so busy and honestly unmotivated to record or do anything, but I got it back. So here we are. We're all loaded. Finally got this thing down to 14 feet. I had it all pulled all the way up here. Wanted it up there for weight uh, reasons, but that didn't work out too well, so I had to move it back. It's 14 feet now, I let the air out of the tires, so we're good to go. I got a strap dangling I forgot to pick up, so I gotta fix that strap, and we'll hit the road. 
All right, good morning. Well, we're here at IAA in San Diego. We have two cars we're picking up. We're picking up an older Jeep Wrangler and then a 2008 Dodge Sprinter van. And the Sprinter van is kind of big and it's wrecked. It's not like terribly wrecked. It's got front end damage, but it still looks like the tires and everything are uh, turnable. But they said that they may not load it. So I'm gonna bring out the Jeep and then I'll ask the guy if he'll load me up with the Sprinter. If not, we're gonna have to go back there and pick it up. We got one car loaded. Now we're gonna go to the back and pick up our Sprinter van. I don't know where he wants me to go here. Will he load this thing for me, dude? I'm not really sure what to do here. Let's see what the move is. Dude, if he loads this thing, that would be so freaking rad. Uh, he would be a gangster if he does. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's walking. He's driving away. Okay, so he is certainly not loading this for me. Okay, oh, never mind. Or wait, maybe he's moving that car so he can load it. Let's see, because you would think he's going to load this for me. He just moved it. Like, why wouldn't he load it for me? Okay, we got our van. Um, I was able to override the electronic and get it into neutral. Uh, so we're all good to go there. Just gotta hook a winch up to it and pull it on. Check this out. Can't remember ever winching a vehicle where the hook, where the winch hooks right in. Down, All right, we're loaded. We got enough room on the back for an infinity, so we're gonna go pick that up real quick and be riverside bound. Got to be careful with the flippage on this one. Oh, we got this Q50 here to load up. Yeah. The thing is like gutless as can be. I don't know what's wrong with it. But... This car is messed up a little bit, engine-wise. Quick little inspectiodo. I think it was made for it. All right, cool, let's get this baby strapped down and get out of here.
gotta put my winch remote back i left that out at iia so that road over here up there okay we're back at ritchie brothers in dunnigan here to pick up this truck today and last time we were here the truck didn't even start something tells me this is going to start up and run and drive just fine it's our unit f450 service truck it's a diesel power stroke so it's got a little crane in the back nice right on easy peasy let's hope it starts up it's the city of nevada some sort of nevada service truck nothing nothing shit shit oh, okay hopefully it just needs a jump let's hope this will do it if not we're in for winching this thing on and I don't want to winch on a truck today. Let's see. Let's see. What's up with these trucks? This is the same thing on the last one. Do not understand. spin right now all right check this out bitch four wheel drive sweet i'll put you in four low you is wrong with this piece of truck right here do you have serious issues right now ford because i have your stupid and four-wheel drive i just don't simply understand this i don't know if four-wheel drive don't work here what the deal but i have this damn thing in four-wheel low and it's still struggling to get up over this like what the hell terry My god i think there's something seriously wrong with this truck <laughs> what a hunks of junk what type of four-wheel drive vehicle can't even get over this shit i swear this is incredible is it because these hubs aren't locked oh uh, do i not know how to use fords wait a minute Maybe, maybe I just don't know how to use the Ford. Hang on. Hang on. Figured out my problem. Hold on a second. Hang on. Okay. Better be a whole new truck. This thing literally better crawl over this now. There we go. Thank you. I didn't know how to use the four-wheel drive. What a hunk of gents. Um, what a vehicle. Wow. Okay, whatever. She loaded and it's sitting in a good spot on the cross member. I'll be happy with that. 